Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Dylan. Thank you so much for coming by. So we actually have a huge update on the second stimulus bill as of today about the specific details in the stimulus package that Nancy Pelosi is uh, not very keen on in terms of the actual uh, testing portion of the illness in the stimulus bill you guys know what i mean i can't say the illness directly but it is um we're well, we're gonna get into that we're gonna get into those details today and why this might not actually be good or why it might be good for the passing of the second stimulus bill we're also going to be chatting about the 1200 dollars stimulus check that uh will or will not be happening we have a deadline now as of tuesday on the stimulus bill to be either fully uh, set in stone be for the passing before the election if it if we do not arrive at a negotiation by tuesday it will not be passed before the election so without further ado we're going to get into that if you do want to sign up to be an uber or a lyft driver check out the links down below you will get a sign-up bonus or guarantee of up to $2,400. And if you do want to sign up for Yada Savings, if you use my link down below, you will get 100 bonus tickets to win all the way up to $10 million. Woo! All right, well, without further ado, now let's get started. I'm going to click on Safari in 3, 2, 1. Click so you can see what we're going on. Here we go. Breaking news, guys. Pelosi says... White House made unacceptable changes to testing language during negotiations on illness stimulus. This is huge. Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi accused White House officials of making unaccept unacceptable changes to language concerning funding for illness testing efforts in the framework of an emerging illness relief deal. Why is this important, guys? Because the language in the deal is what everybody's caught up about. There is no compromise. Some people want one thing and other people want another thing. There's details. Some people, it, it, it's just a mess right now. In a letter to House Democrats released by the Speaker's office Sunday afternoon, Pelosi accused the White House of refusing to make, commit funding for a national illness testing and contact tracing program, as well as trying to create a slush fund slush fund from the, from which the administration could offer grants to various entities at its own discretion these changes make this funding a slush fund for the administration which may grant or withhold see guys this language literally the word may is what's holding everything up because look at this guys nancy pelosi says um this is what this is what they're talking about. They 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 want to include a plan. Some people want to include a plan to for contact tracing and to crush the illness. Some people don't want that in there. This is what they even had to say. The hill, a Latino. It is important to to note the impact in terms of the disparity facing communities of color. I'm no doctor, but again, I'm just reading this, quoting them. Here they go. I'm, this is a direct quote from the hill or I believe actually from Nancy Pelosi herself. A Latino child is eight times more likely to have to go to the hospital because of illness than a white child, and a black child is five times more likely. So Pelosi did say that, adding, we want all of our children protected. White House officials did not immediately return a request for comment on the House leader's remarks. Her fiery statement follows what had happened to be promising developments in the negotiations surrounding a stimulus package for which President DT, a.k.a. President Donald Trump, has renewed calls in recent weeks as he trails his Democratic opponent, former Vice President Joe Biden, in most national and battleground state polling. He, he trail. Oh, wow. He, he trail. So is that do they are they saying that Joe Biden is winning in the polls? Wow. That's the first that I've heard on that, on any poll data. It is getting close to the election, so we'll see. A Saturday evening statement. Again, this is also important because this is during the election time. The second stimulus bill. Why? Because, guys, 
if President Donald Trump does not win the presidency, and I've heard other leaders say this as well, he doesn't really have any uh, incentive to, to pass a second stimulus bill, right? And we would have to wait until 2021 for Biden to become president to pass. I, I mean, I don't know. I'm just, you're just relaying info here. A Saturday evening statement from Drew Hamill, Pelosi's chief of staff, so basically Pelosi's right-hand man, says indicated that there had been encouraging news on testing during a call between Pelosi and Secretary Steven Mnuchin that day, which lasted around an hour. This is the legendary phone call on Saturday night that everybody's talking about, that Pelosi and Mnuchin sat down, maybe stood up, talked on the phone for around an hour. While there was some encouraging news on testing, there remains work to do to ensure there is a comprehensive testing plan that includes contact tracing and additional measure, measures to address the illness. Disproportionate impact on communities of color, Hamill said. So, the devil is in the details. The 48 only states to if we want to get it done before the election, which we do. I'm optimistic because, again, we've been back and forth on all this. So, they do have currently, again, until Tuesday, 48 hours to decide on these details. And if they can't, they will be officially postponing the second stimulus bill until after the election. Now, a word about the $1,200 stimulus check um, that could be a standalone bill prior to the election because everybody knows that low-income people, people who live paycheck to paycheck, people who need the $1,200 stimulus check, that is the priority right now, as well as the Paycheck Protection Program funds. So, small businesses and low-income people need that money so that could even if it doesn't if nothing does pass by tuesday could potentially have a standalone bill just for the 1200 dollars stimulus check for for gig workers independent contractors as well as everyday americans uber drivers lyft drivers everybody guys so this is huge news i will keep you all updated stay tuned make sure to thumbs up this video and subscribe for updates on all of this guys use the link down below if you do need money right now to sign up to be an uber or lyft driver and get a 2400 dollar up to a 2400 dollar sign up bonus or guarantee appreciate the support and i'll talk to you all soon bye guys